Yeah, but this fight's not over. He get it back some other kind of way. <laughs> but the head speed here and now. Good exchange. Tony moving well. Moving the body from side to side. Dipping. Good right hand from Tony. Oh, Callum comes back at him. Using the body, using the head. Nice up a cut by Tony. Tony, yeah. The Callum with the Great big move. right in the second round. A very dangerous guy. Good puncher. I'll tell you, he landed a solid right hand. McCallum ate it up and is coming back. He's throwing those punches real well. I like the way he's fighting. Oh, good job. Tony with the right. Will the split. Exactly. exactly. No, and he landed another right hand. Oh, the butter punch. Another one. And McCallum comes right back with the right of his own. There's always a lot of excitement in the middleweight division. Nice right hand. Right hand. And, and Tony came Tony back with the right of his own. Catching him solid. Right. Oh, another right from Tony. I mean, he can the right uppercut, another right hand from James Tony. And McCallum comes right back, and Tony with a right. He didn't get hit. This is what, oh, a strong right hand from McCallum. This is where the experience comes from. Mm. But here comes Tony back with his own counter right. Oh, oh strong right hand from Tony. Obviously, a slow from that dynamite fourth round. Well, this is what I speak about now. I'm accusing that jab very well. Oh. Tony catches him again. Moment. Oh, good left foot. Oh, good right hand by Tony, and it did buckle McCallum there. And another and right to Tony. And Tony goes after him. That right hand. Oh, right counter. to the body. Good counter. McCallum, bingo. They trade right hands. Mc, uh, Tony drops his head and avoids McCallum. They're throwing with so much power. Either of these guys could really... Nice right hand by Tony again. again. He's got a beautiful right hand. Oh, nice. That was sweet. In the nose. Oh, good combination of hands. Ooh, good exchanges. Well, the people are actually Callum still low. Oh, good right hand from Tony again. Try to end this fight as <laughs> quick as they can. Oh. McCallum snuck in. He's actually working for McCallum as far as his hand speed. Oh. Callum goes after Tony. I'm very impressed with both of these fighters. Another right from Tony. <laughs> Stronger right hands of company. Tony puts that shoulder up nice when he wants to block that right hand. He's not. Oh, comes out of there. Good combination from James Tony. Fight. 15 seconds to go in this eighth. McCullen's trying to stay tight now with Tony, which is a smart move for him because you're not getting caught with the right hand as much now. Van Curran is landing a few good body shots in there. Sure. But there's nothing on him. But he's protected. I think that was an important. Talking. Here we go. Uh, on the replay here, you got James Tony counter right hand right on the chin, but look at McCallum come back. It's amazing. Let's see, exactly. Did McCallum right hand. Tony tries to come back. Oh, wildly. Nice move. Oh, nice move. Another body shot with the right from McCallum, and Tony comes back at it. Oh. Good counter right hand by Tony, but this is McCallum. Now you know why he's been champ since 1984. Exactly. More aggressive this round. Oh! And a bomb from Tony. And that one wobbled with McCallum. And another right. Oh! Tony comes after him here at the Oh! Oh my! Tony landing. Nice hook. This is what I was speaking knocked about. Knocked his mouthpiece out. Tony knocked McCallum's mouthpiece out with that left hook. And there goes Smoger to pick it up. That was a dynamite left hook. Another one. Another right from Tony. Oh! Tony digs one into the body. And the left. Tony's trying to Here he comes. Left hook, right hand. And that did wobble McCallum. Look at his legs shake. And Tony just missing with some punches that may be could have put McCallum down. Only all fights could be like this. Here's oh. the, here's the uh, oh. Nice slip by Tony. Rocking back, coming yeah. back with that uppercut. Just some real, 
magnificent boxing here. This is what. Great hand from Tony. <laughs> I've given Tony the last three, four rounds here. Oh, good right uppercut by McCallum. Tony had the fight of the year here in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Good right hand by McCallum. Oh! The left from Tony. Oh! And Tony goes after McCallum. Oh! Oh! The right hand from Tony. Another right. Into the ropes. He's got McCallum hurt badly, and he's still got a minute 15 and to a right uppercut for Tony. McCallum. We like to see McCullen hang in there. Oh! Another left. Oh! Another left from Tony. Oh! And another left hook. That's it. And he goes up. And here we go again. That right uppercut by Tony. Mm. Bingo. Left Look hook. Look at that one. Right off into the last round here. Tony with that left hook buckles yeah. yes. McCallum terribly. And misses wildly, of course, with that one. And McCallum, just unbelievable how he stood up to this uh, final assault by James Tony. I think Tony earned a lot of fans here tonight, Joe. You know, right McCallum hand. was the heavy favorite. The bout is a draw. Let's hear it for both of these great fighters here tonight. The man who gave up a middleweight championship, Mike McCallum, did him keep boxing. Rather than in the spurts, he did in the first fight, but he's spurting right now. Start the action. He doesn't want his fighter to get into a counter-punching duel with McCallum, who's a terrific left hand behind it is blocked. Tony with a solid left. There's a left hand by respect each other, right, George? Once you have respect, you do have respect. McCallum landed the left, but technique. And if it is, it plays into McCallum's favor. Tony landing a left hand and a right hand and another left tonight to go to the body. Something he forgot about in their December fight. Good right hand by McCallum. Set up by the triple and followed with consistent action throughout. Another good right hand by Tony. There's a good right hand. You're right, George. Temporarily wobbled. Another right hand by James Tony. And Tony with the right uppercut. McCallum lands a left and a right inside. The two fighters trading solid punches as we come down. And here is Tony flaring. He said his fists would be the judges. Here. There were two body shots, a left and a right by McCallum. Two good body shots from Tony and the left hand that split McCallum's defense. Right hand over the top by McCallum landing. Just misses with the solid right cross that would have done some damage. Uppercuts inside for Tony Lane. Both fighters, his effort, and biding his time in the first six rounds. George, would you endorse that strategy? I think so, because that's the one thing the younger fighters don't have. Patience. Left hook landed for Tony, but it was a glancing blow. And a right hand for Tony. And McCallum goes back to the... Flurrying to the body inside. Tony's right hand was blocked of a 12-round battle. Callum is having a hard time figuring out Tony also. He doesn't know exactly what he's going to do. But there he lands it. And Callum goes back to the body. Referee Joe Cortez warned him to between rounds to keep him up. Mike just missing with a long left hand there. And Tony lands the left hook. Doesn't work harder to try to exert pressure on Mike McCallum. Coming in too light, too quick. He's probably been like that for 10, 8 to 10 days. Right hand over the top landed for Tony. Another disagreement between Larry Merchant and Harold. Five seconds out. And here's a flurry by Tony. Good left hand. Staying in tight. Both fighters hit within. Nearly 100 fewer punches and landed 75 fewer. But yet Harold Letterman has Tony ahead. This is the dilemma for scorers at this bout. Round eight. Five years old, he's been throwing 70 punches around. <laughs> Didn't seem significant enough to warrant the deduction of a point. Now McCallum and Tony are giving it with his imprint on the fight. Both fighters trying to go to the body inside. And Tony is the busier of the two for the moment. Round eight has been a good one for James Tony, who has applied more pressure to McCallum, the two fighters. Tony working harder now again to begin round nine. Lands a left hand. McCallum comes right back. Five. Two minutes.
fight of various rounds. And he wants to press the action. Delaware, Senator gonna, Roth gonna, decided to convene a subcommittee after Tony was given a split decision over Tiberi. Tony also has an extra point from right, that referee's go. decision. There is a good left hand, perhaps. Now you see why James Tony creates questions for fans. Score is a potential small edge for Tony. Yeah. Three scorecards just to merit a draw, as it turned out. He got the job done. Right hand landed for Tony. McCallum tries to come blocking shots to the body from Tony and going to the body himself. And I think picking up... decisions and Glenn Thomas yeah so they've been a hoof through a who's who of the junior middleweight middleweight and super middleweight one thing that Tony's getting done early he's getting the left hook in pretty active first round though especially for Tony he has a tendency to left fights you if you don't take a step to your left will you think as evidence by round one there's a shot Tony. The left hook is there for Tony whenever he wants to throw it. Because Mike McCallum is really dropping his punches. He has a habit of doing that. That's maybe the one chink in his armor as a fighter. It's out, Tony, for the vacant WBU Cruiserweight Championship. And good action to start round number three. Mike McCallum. Former three-time world champion has been in with 11. Sure is. It's just amazing. Some people can and some people cannot when it comes to longevity. And end up throwing fights away. Tony is like that. The right hand from Tony. Back comes McCallum. Tony just looking at When he threw a low blow. best referees in boxing today. Nice right hand by McCallum. Mike McCallum has become more and more of an arm puncher as life has gone on, and that has not stood him in good stead. It's not helping him tonight. Tony working the body. A little left inside, short left by Tony, and a right on the top. Final 10 seconds of round five. Mike McCallum on. Just to dispute your card a second, I have it five zip for Tony. There's a right hand by Tony. Watch it. Work it out. <laughs> Left hand from Tony. And you know, Tony's doing a very smart thing. McCallum's still going downstairs. There's an example. That left took the fights went 15 rounds. Yes, it's true. Tony's not the kind of guy who will walk in, take a step to his left, dip down, and just crank up hooks. If he were to do that, he would win this fight. John McCallum snapped the head of Tony back with a combination. There's the hook again by James Tony. Solid. That's a good way to put it. Not spectacular, but solid. Round number seven coming to an end. The pace picks up. Scheduled for 12. 
James Tony cranking up the left hooks. Landed that one, glanced off the head of Mike McCallum, but pushed him back enough to get some. Side from McCallum. Again, Mike McCallum and James Tony in quest. Hi, James Tony. No, right hand, excuse me. Usually Let's see if this changes. That cut is in a very bad spot. These two. Tony won one. Astonishing. You could have given Joseph a one point win, but four points is pretty excessive. Especially in an eight round fight. So, Freddie, maybe he did whisper it to Tony and we didn't hear it. He's maybe. Not following. Well, possibly. Because when he's used it, it won. And, and on top of all of that, the man is cut on the right eye. Every time you throw him, it's going to land on that cut. The judges may or may not agree with him. Count a right by McCallum after he ate as much as we might. Talk about these late rounds. They've both been there, done that. We'll go past the eighth round. A hook to the body from Tony. Good body work by Tony, and I think that that looked like is hurting him to me, but again, oh, nice right by McCallum. Yeah, that one landed. That caught somebody's attention. And a little left from McCallum as well. Almost one minute gone by in the 12th and final round. Now we'll take a look at your scorecard to this point as McCallum with a flurry and Tony answering. One minute to go in the 12th and final round. The vacant WBU Cruiserweight Championship. The urgency at ringside here that leads you to believe that a lot of people think this is a very close fight. The most important people are to the judges. All that counts. There's the left hook again from Tony and a right. And he rips a hook to the body. Give Mike McCallum credit. Tony McCallum three ends with a series of right. WBU Cruiserweight Champion of the World. James Lights Out Tone!